Welcome to the Good Morning Show, Friend of Life Live, where we strive to start our day in a good way with some joy and some hope and some encouragement as we continue to seek wisdom, truth, and life. My name is Brian Bell. So glad you're here. It is Wednesday, April 10th, 2024, week 15, day number 101 of the new year, live stream number 304. Hey, let's know where we are. Let's know where we're going. Let's know why we're going there. And let's make today count. Good morning, live streamers, Finding Life family, Finding Lifers. So good to see you. So good to be here with you. Happy new day of life, man. We are missing William Blair these days, aren't we? William Blair. We got to keep him in our thoughts and prayers. Missing William Blair there. Oh, he is here. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, William Blair? Good to see you, bro. I didn't see I didn't see your chats right off the bat, and I uh, didn't think you were here this morning. But so good to see you. We do have a light. We do have a light live chat this morning. So you guys been, uh, you guys been. But but I thank you. But I thank you for getting here and getting the live chat fired up early. I do greatly appreciate that, William Blair. I hope you're doing well, bro. We're praying for you, and um, hope you're doing well. First of all, my side we have Cat. What's Cat got going on here? What is that? Is it like a mummy or shaving or what? I can't really tell. Cat, good morning. So good to see you. Happy new day of life. So good to have you with us this morning. Hope you and Gabriel Turtle are doing well. Thank you guys for the likes. Thank you for the live chat. Jack C says, okay, let's roll. Morning, Cat, Mel, and Lars. Good morning, Jack. So good to see you, bro. Happy new day of life. So good to have you with us this morning. Hope you're doing well. Thank you. Thank you, bro, for all your encouragement and your in prayer and your prayers. Cat says, chat started late today. All of these comments will be cut off. What a hey, they did not. They made it in. Yeah, I didn't have 75 comments though. Usually it cuts off at 75. I didn't I didn't have 75 this morning. Cat says, wait until show starts to post anything you want Brian to read. Oh, Cat's the culprit. <laughs> Jack says, I used a starter treatment, Lars. Don't remember the name, but it cleansed all the chemicals out of the water in about an hour. Good morning, William. Jack says, I used the chemicals in mine, and you can add fish in about an hour. All right. Got some new fish going on, huh? Some new fish tanks and new fish. Sounds good. David Ray, what's up, bro? David Ray says, good morning, Rick. Good morning, David Ray. So good to see you, brother. So good to have you with us. Hope you're doing well. Kat says, hi, Deborah. All right. Looking forward to seeing some people here this morning. David Ray says, it's on hold right now, Jack. Been working on other stuff. I usually let the water circulate for a week or two before adding fish. A, hey, we would like to see some pictures or videos of the fish. Let's go. Share that. Kat says, hey, fragile. David Ray says, yes, Lars. I bought filtered spring water, and then filtered rainwater myself and poured it in. Lars says, hiya, Rick. I worried about you yesterday. Good morning, Lars. So good to see you, bro. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. Hump day. So good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Lars says, rainwater is fine, David, or spring water. Jack says, don't know yet, Deborah. I will before the day is over. Are you going? Cat says, uh-oh. Hey, guess what? I added about 20 sound bites last night. Worked until about midnight. Got up at 4.15. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And I have this one now by itself. Uh-oh. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. And 19 other ones. We'll have to wait and see what all we got. Lars says, sorry for your tiredness, Deborah. God bless you, sister. Jack says, but like I told you, I killed all mine. That's not good. Hey, thank you for the like. Much love to you. So greatly appreciate it. Deborah says, so sorry, Melanie is tired, Lars. I'd love to go back to sleep too. Good morning, Deborah. So good to see you and have you with us this morning. Hey, Deb, the only soundbite I wasn't able to add that I had on my list last night was the one for the Florida Boys. I don't know what that is. I did look it up. There is a gospel group called the Florida Boys. Is that what you're talking about? But um, I know you were talking about having a soundbite from the Florida Boys to represent everyone that's here from Florida. And so, but I need more specific. Can you, can you give me something more specific, please? And, uh, and we'll try to get that in. David Ray says, good morning, Deb Ora. Deborah, so good to see you and have you with us this morning. Sorry, you're tired. And, uh, we'll, we'll be here to encourage you and hopefully get you through the morning, get you started, at least, at least get you started on the right path. Hopefully Lord willing cat says, father, teach me what it means to be godly. That's a good prayer. That's his desire for us is to live godly, holy, righteous lives. Deborah says, sweetest cat is in the chat. Happy dance. Shalom, lady cat. Let's go. Lar David Ray says, Lars, I really don't remember that. Jack says, morning, Rick. David Ray says, I went to the grocery store and bought gallon jugs of water and filtered some rainwater so I wouldn't have to use chemicals in it. 
Sounds good. David Reese says, good morning, Finding Life family. Mel, Lars, Kat, Jack. Hello, cost some coffee. All right, all right. Looking forward to seeing Melanie. Let's see. I think Mel- Melanie's the only one I haven't seen so far listed there. Charles says, happy Wednesday, everyone. Hope everyone is having a blessed day. We'll be trying to listen in while I'm working. All right, Charles. Sounds like a good plan, bro. Thank you for tuning in and being here and being a part. We so greatly appreciate it. So glad you could join us on the live this morning. Lars says, hiya, Jack, Catherine, Melanie, David Ray. Some joy there. Let's go. Jack says, morning, David. How's the fish tank coming? I think we've been seeing answers to that. Kat says, meow, David Ray, my annoying big brother. My annoying big brother. Yes, indeed. Cat says, meow. Let's find it. I've moved things around now since I've added more. Here we go. <laughs> Deborah says, David Ray, good to see you alive and well today. David Ray says, good morning, Bill. Laura says, Dr. Ray in the house. That's right. David Ray says, unless they get ill. Laura says, used to work with aquarium fish, but brain is on standby. We used phosphoric acid, if my memory serves me, to soften the water. Laura says, Roadhog. Nice to see you, William N. Deborah. All right. Yes, the Roadhog. I got a short version of that now, too. Roadhog! On top of the long version. I have the long version and the short version now. So let's go. William Blair, we got you in the house, bro. David Ray says, right, Jack, but I don't use chemicals. David Ray says, no, no pike. LOL. Lars says, chat kitchen exploded. Flour everywhere. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is that why William's so quiet? He's busy cleaning up the chat kitchen. Jack says, David, I... Invested in a pump vacuum above $20. Great for cleaning gravel without disturbing the fish. Sounds nice. Sounds nice. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Lars, you and Kat got that same little face this morning. I'm not sure what it is. Is that bandages or clouds or shaving cream? What? I don't know. Kat says, hiya, Jack. Malars with a rose. Lars says, I have a pike for your fish tank, David. It's really hungry. David Ray says, yep, I have something similar. Lars says, Melanie is tired. Hospital all night, work long hours, and moving puppies because data and neighbors can't breathe. Oh, no. So sorry to hear that, Lars. Let's continue to keep Melanie and her dad in our thoughts and prayers. Kat says, like, 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 like. Thank you, Kat. Thank you so much for that. So so greatly appreciate it. Much love to you. Deborah says, blessings of shalom to you all. Thank you, Debo. Appreciate that. Deb says, Jack, are you still going to the conference? William Blair says, good morning, David, and what's up? What's up, William Blair? So good to see you, bro. So good to know that you're here with us. Hope you're doing well. Keep us posted. Melanie's got the same one, too. Man, you guys got to enlighten me. I got to figure out what that little face is. I need to go to, like, maybe the text app and find out what it says for that, how it describes it. Or you guys just let me know. What is this described as? Let me know. Let me know. Here's Melanie, says Daniel 12.1. Through 7, Hebrews 10, 19 through 25, Matthew 24, 1 through 14, Proverbs 21, 21. Love and miss you all so much. Blessings to everyone. Coffee for everyone. Sorry again, can't stay longer. Peace. Peace, coffee, love, prayer. Melanie, it's okay. We know that you're we know you have a lot going on, a lot on your plate right now, and it's late for you. So thank you. We do appreciate you jumping in. We do appreciate you being here. Mel says, hope everyone forgive me. I'm home, but I can't stay here for long, not have much sleep and tired from work and move my puppies to other house. No worries, Melanie. We understand. Hey, thanks for popping in and saying hello and bringing us some good word. We so greatly appreciate that. Let's jump back over here and see what you have for us. Daniel 12, 1 through 7. We'll go to the Bible Hub and see what Melanie has brought to us this morning. Uh, Look, I wrote Melanie. (laughs) Daniel, it should be. Daniel 12, 1 through 7 from Melanie. Let's see what we have. Daniel 12, 1 through 7, the end times. At that time, Michael, the great prince who protects your people, will arise. There will be a time of distress such as not happened from the beginning of nations until then. But at that time, your people, everyone whose name is found written in the book, will be delivered. Multitudes who sleep in the dust of the earth will awake some to everlasting life, others to shame and everlasting contempt. Those who are wise will shine like the brightness of the heavens, and those who lead many to righteousness like the stars like the stars forever and ever. 
But you, Daniel, roll up and seal the words of the scroll until the time of the end. Many will go here and there and there to increase knowledge. Then I, Daniel, looked, and there before me stood two others, one on his on this bank of the river and one on the opposite bank. One of them said to the man clothed in linen who was above the waters of the river, How long will it be before these astonishing things are fulfilled? The man clothed in linen who was above the waters of the river lifted his right hand and his left hand toward heaven, and I heard him swear by him who lives forever, saying, It will be for a time, times and a half time, when the power of the holy people has been finally broken, all these things will be completed. All right. Thank you, Melanie. Hebrews 10, 19 through 25. Let's go check that out. We know how it ends, don't we? Hebrews 10, 19 through 25. Thank you, Melanie. Let's read this. A call to persevere in faith. Therefore, brothers and sisters, since we have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way opened for us through the curtain that is his body. And since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near to God with a sincere heart and with the full assurance that faith brings, having our hearts sprinkled to cleanse us from a guilty conscience and having our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. Amen. Thank you so much, Melanie. Let us not give up meeting together, but continue to meet together, encourage one another, and spur one another on toward love and good deeds. Amen. Let's go. Let's see what else we have here. Matthew 24, 1 through 14. All right. Matthew 24, 1 through 14 from Melanie. The destruction of the temple and signs of the end times. Jesus left the temple and was walking away when his disciples came up to him to call his attention to its buildings. Do you see all these things? Jesus asked. Truly, I tell you, not one stone here will be left on another. Every one will be thrown down. As Jesus was sitting on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately. Tell us, they said, when will this happen, and what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? Jesus answered, Watch out that no one deceives you, for many will come in my name, claiming I am the Messiah, and will deceive many. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars, but see to it that you are not alarmed. That's, that, that's a key point there. See to it that you are not alarmed. We can't be like tossed around like waves at sea. We have our firm foundation in Christ. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. Nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes in various places. All these things are the beginning of birth pains. Then you will be handed over to be persecuted and put to death, and you will be hated by all nations because of me. At that time, many will turn away from the faith and, and will betray and hate each other, and many false prophets will appear and deceive many people. Because of the increase of wickedness, the love of most will grow cold, but the one who stands firm to the end will be saved." And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations, and then the end will come. Let's read that again. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations, and then the end will come. So when you see standing in the holy place the abomination that causes desolation, spoken of through the prophet Daniel, let the reader understand then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let no one on the housetop go down to take anything out of the house. Did I read, did I read too far? Matthew 21 through 14. I did read too far. <laughs> Let's go ahead and finish this paragraph. Let no one on the housetop go down to take anything out of the house. Let no one in the field go back to get their cloak. How dreadful it will be in those days for pregnant women and nursing mothers. 
pray that your flight will not take place in winter or on the Sabbath. For then there will be great distress, unequaled from the beginning of the world until now, and never to be equaled again. I do want to read uh, verse 36, because this is one that was on my mind recently about, about the timing of all of this, the day and the hour unknown. Verse 36, but about that day or hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, not even Jesus, it says, knows the timing But about that day or hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. For in the days before the flood, people were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, up to the day Noah entered the ark. And they knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them all away. That is how it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. Two men will be in the field, one will be taken and the other left. Two women will be grinding with a hand mill, one will be taken and the other left. But about that day, verse 36, but about that day or hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, only the Father. All right. Thank you, Melanie, for some good word this morning. Let's see what else you have for us. Proverbs 21, 21. One of the now foundational verses for finding life, thanks to you, Melanie. So thank you for bringing us some good word. Proverbs 21, 21, whoever pursues righteousness and love finds life. That is the goal. That is the goal here every morning, Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. Pacific. Come find life with us. We are in the pursuit of life. Whoever pursues righteousness and love finds life. Prosperity and honor, too. Let's go. Melanie, thank you so much for the good word. We so greatly appreciate it. So good to have you with us this morning. We know that you're tired. We pray that you get a good night's rest and sleep well and sweet dreams. And thank you for the word. So greatly appreciate it. Rick says, good morning all. Good morning, Rick. So good to see you, bro, and have you with us this morning. Uh, Let's see. Rick says, how nice, Lars. That makes one person I know. I don't forget what that is. Rick says, good morning, everyone. Rick says, baking soda to bring down the acid. David Ray says, good morning, Charles. Deborah says, I... I do plan to go, Jack, hoping conflict doesn't happen. It's showtime. Let's go, cat. Hey, it's showtime. 618. I always say Bobby's birthday. Bobby's birthday is June 18th. Not today, David Ray. But whenever I see 618 for June 18th, I always say, happy birthday, Bobby. <laughs> Cats dancing. Let's go. Let's go. 601. Brian is here. God bless you, bruh. Bruh. Thank you so much. Bruh. I greatly appreciate that. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Cat says, good morning, Final Life family. Yes, indeed. Nathan Storm says, morning, B&B. Good morning, Nathan Storm. So good to see you, bro. Let's celebrate. I haven't seen you in a minute. So good to see you and have you with us this morning. Hope you and Rachel are doing fantastic. Oh, look at Bobby Bell. She's got my, she, she's got the wrong login on Google. She's got one of mine, one of mine. That's my, that's my Wii. That's my wee dude, Bride Doxer. Let's go. Bobby Bell says, good morning, Friday Life family. And then she says it again. She fixed it. Good morning, Friday Life family with some love. Good morning, my beautiful sunshine bride. So good to see you and have you with us this morning. So glad you made it in. Nathan Storm just said good morning to you and me and everyone else. Uh, Kat says, I'm making today count. Let's go. Let's make today count. This day is a gift from the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Let's go. Jack says, morning, Brian, and everyone I miss. Good morning to you, Jack. Thanks for the shout out, bro. Appreciate it. Lars says, Bridoxter. Jaden, bruh. That's actually me, bro. That's one of my, that's one of my nicknames, Bridoxter. Let's go, Bridoxter, Bridog, B-Dog. David Ray says, good morning, Bridoxter. Good morning, David Ray. <laughs> Jack says, morning, Bobby. Bobby says, whoops, wrong account for a minute. Yes, we see that. Cat says, morning, William. Sorry, I didn't see you. Cat says Bobby with a rose. David Ray says Bridoxter, Tater. No. Lars says, okay, Bobby, God bless sister. Cat says Titus 2, 11 and 12. Let's go check it out. Titus 2, 11 and 12. Thank you, Cat, for some some good word. Uh, did I type it wrong? Yes. Titus 2. Let's go there. Titus 2, verses 11 and 12 from Cat. For the grace of God has appeared... The grace of, for the grace of God has appeared that offers salvation to all people. It teaches us to say no 
to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled, a fruit of the Spirit, self-discipline, self-control, and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in this present age while we wait for the blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Who gave? I'm reading more. Who gave himself for us to redeem us from all wickedness and to purify for himself a people that are his very own, eager to do what is good. That's why we were created, to bring God glory and to do good work. Amen. Let's go. These then are the things you should teach, encourage, and rebuke with all authority. Do not let anyone despise you. Let's go. Thank you, Cap. Appreciate the good word, as always. We can never get a, we can never get too much good word. Amen. Let's go. David Ray says, good morning, Miss Bobby Bell, Brad Oxer. Jack says, Devilra, I will know by tonight. Laura says, Cat is spreading the word. God bless you, sis. Amen. Let's go. Diane Caldwell, my beautiful mom in Tennessee, says, good morning to you all with some love and some prayer and some joy. Good morning, mom. It's so good to see you and have you on the show with us. Hope you and Pap are having a good morning in Tennessee. So thankful you can join and interact. So good. So good. I have a new, I have a new sound bite from mom, too. Uh, she, she, I don't know if she'll like it or not. It's kind of long. I don't know if I'll play it all. Mom, 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 mommy, mommy. Trying to get mom's attention. Mommy, mom, mama. Listen up. Mama, mama, mama. Mama. (laughs) All right. That's enough of that. Cass says, I'm at the clothing room already working by myself, trying to be productive today. I'm at the clothing. Oh, good job, Cat. At work, working at church, working. Jack says, good morning, Diane. Data says, good morning, Diane. Called well with some with some greetings, some coffee, some peace. Lars says, Diane, thank you, sister, for all your prayers. God bless you. Amen, Lars. Bruh, let's go. Deborah says, uh, Deborah says, the comedian that I sent to you, he said something like, we're in the floor, we're the Florida boys now. At least I think I remember that correctly. Oh, so so maybe it's in the same skit that you already sent me. Uh, we're the Florida boys now. Let me, I'll make a note of that. Uh, I'll, make, I'll catch it later. I'll look at it. All right, Deborah, I'll check out that skit again and see if I can hear that. Laura says, did Bobby get Richard Petty soundbite? No, I did get Speedy Gonzalez. She wanted Speedy Gonzalez. I got this for her. That's Bobby Bell. She, she wanted Speedy Gonzalez. That's what she got. Maybe we need to get a Rick I got her this one here. But we'll see. We'll see. Maybe we need to get a Richard. I was thinking about that too last night. I was like, we need something fast for Bobby. I mean, Speedy Gonzalez is fast. Yeah. I'm just not sure. It just doesn't sound like Bobby. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just doesn't sound like Bobby. But yeah, maybe we could do that. Uh, David Ray says, hello, Ricky Bobby for Bobby's soundbite. Ricky Bobby. We could do that. Ricky Bobby. Jack says, saw an arrest in a high speed chase in California. Thought of Bobby. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. <laughs> Bobby, you got such a good reputation going on. Dittery says, LOL, I saw that too, Jack. Laura says, I had some thought, Jack. William Blair says, in lots of pain just listening. Oh, William Blair, so sorry to hear that, bro. So sorry to hear that, bro. William Blair is in lots of pain just listening. Okay, bro. So sorry to hear that, William Blair. Heavenly Father, God, I just pray right now for William Blair, God, that you would be with him and ease his pain. Father, I pray. Please be with William Blair, God. Please, please help him ease his pain. Be with him. I pray, Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Let's keep William Blair in our thoughts and our prayers. Full of Hope says, Lars, Deborah, David, Jack, Cat, Diane, Brydox, or Fragile, and Brian. Hey, Full of Hope, so good to see you. Happy new day of life. So good to have you with us. Full of Hope, I looked up. Uh, let's see if I can get this, uh, Full of Hope. Let's try this. Gia Hutch. How about that? Gia Hutch. How about that? Is that better? That's better, right? G- Gia Hutch. Huh? Let's go. I looked up a video on YouTube yesterday. I'm trying, full of hope. I'm trying. Fall shy. Jack says, morning, full of hope. David Ray says, morning, full of hope. Laura says, full of hope. Sarah says, morning, y'all. Shalom. Good morning, Sarah. So good to see you and have you with us this morning. Full of hope says, William Blair. Me too. Arg. Ouch. Jack says, so sorry, William. Praying for your brother. Amen. David Ray says, prayers for Melanie and her dad. Amen. Let us be a people. Robert Francis says, happy hustle day. Happy hustle day, Robert. Bro, Robert asked for a soundbite. He wanted to hear this one. You want to pump? You up. Robert Francis wants to pump you up. Robert, happy hustle day, bro. So good to see you and have you with us this morning. Hope you're doing well. William Blair says, yes, full of hope. William Blair, we're going to play your soundbite, bro. We're going to play We're gonna play you and Tater and uh, as we keep you in thought and prayer. Oh, Tater rides a moped. Keeping you in thought and prayer too, Tater. Watch out, Tater. Roadhog. Ah! 
We love you, William. Praying for you, bro. Uh, Lars says prayers. William, take care, brother. Jack says morning, Sarah. William Blair says thanks, Lars. David Ray says good morning, Sarah. Shalom. Cass says hi, Paola. Sarah says some love for William Blair. Let's go. Lars says Sarah, and let us be a people. Work out and dance. Cass says hello, Sarah. Sarah says morning, David Ray. Let's go. <laughs> That's right, David Ray. Melanie 12, verses 1 through 7. <laughs> uh, Sarah says, hey, Kay. William Blair says, good morning, Sarah. Cass says, Psalms 1830. Let's go check it out. Psalm 1830. All right, all right. What happened? Wrong button. Psalm 1830 from Cat. NIV says, as for God, his way is perfect. Of course, of course. As for God, his way is perfect. The Lord's word is flawless. He shields us. He shields all who take refuge in him. Praise God. As for God, his way is perfect. The Lord's word is flawless. He shields all who take refuge in him. Uh, Let's see what King James says. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. All right. All right. Thank you, Kat. Amen. That is good reassurance. His way is perfect. His word is flawless. He shields all who take refuge in him. Let's do that. Amen. Thank you, Kat. Appreciate that. Laura says, Book of Mel- Melanie. <laughs> That's right. Laura, Sarah says, Hey, Lars, blessings. Sarah says, Hebrews. Hebrews. Laura says, Awesome reading Hebrews. Amen. Sarah says, Yes. Bobby Bell says, Hello there, Dr. David Ray. So good to see you. Jack says, A good verse for all of us today. Hebrews 13 1. Let's go, Jack. Hebrews 13 1. Let's go. Let's go. Hebrews 13 1 from Jack says, Keep on loving one another as brothers and sisters. Amen, Jack. Keep on loving one another as brothers and sisters. Amen. New Living says, keep on loving each other as brothers and sisters. Amen. King James says, let brotherly love continue. Let's go. Amen. Let's go. Thank you, Jack. Appreciate that, bro. Uh, Laura says, David, she remembered. Bobby Bell says, good morning and rest well, sweet Melanie. So sorry about your daddy. Sarah says, hey there, Jack. Bobby Bell says, good morning, dear William, with some prayer. David Ray says, hey there, Bobby Bell. I said good morning earlier. Bobby Bell says, morning, Lars. Good morning, Jack. Good to see you. Jack says, good morning, Sarah. Bobby Bell says, good morning, Cat, with some love. Bobby Bell says, hi, good morning, Sarah. Lars says, good morning, Bobby. Racetrack Bell. <laughs> Bobby's going to love that. We cut all, I, th- I did also think about the Energizer Bunny, because she just keeps on going and going. Bobby Bell says, happy hump day. Got it right here. Hump day! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Jack says, morning, Bobby Bell. Sarah says, good morning, Bobby Bell. Bobby Bell says, good morning, Deb, with some flowers. Bobby says, good morning, Graham, with some love. Good morning, full of hope. Cass says, Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike? Hey, we got that one, too. Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike? (laughs) Where is Mike? Where is Dez, Mike? Let's play it again. Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike? (laughs) Hump day! Let's go. Uh, Bobby Bell says, LOL, my soundbite, David. Sarah says, found my earbuds. Bobby Bell says, morning, fragile, with some love. Bobby Bell says, okay, got to get to work, listening, love y'all, thankful for this community. Amen. Amen and amen. Sarah says, good morning, fragile, David Ray, give us some joy. Laura says, Matthew 24, what, like the whole chap, like the whole, uh, the whole thing? Or that's what we read earlier, right? Matthew, yeah, that's what we read earlier, Matthew 24. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We read it. We read a ton of that earlier. Amen. Some love there. David Ray says, good morning. Let us be a people. Robert. Fragile Live says, good morning, Sarah. Sarah says, yes, thank you, Melanie. Blessings, David Ray. Some joy. Rick says, good morning, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> we could find We could definitely find a sound bite from, the, from Ricky Bobby. <laughs> that would be good. That would be good. Help, let's see. If you guys have any thoughts on a good Ricky Bobby sound bite for Bobby Bell, let me know. That, that would be good. Shake and bake, baby. Bobby Bell says, morning, Nathan. Lars says, Brother Storm, God bless you. Sarah says, Amen. Sarah says, Good morning, B-Dog. Good morning, Sarah. Thank you for the shout out. That's right. Rick says, Wow, B-Dog has street cred. Let's go. <laughs> Lars says, Thoughts? In- it's time for the word. It's time for the word. Time for the word. A few more comments here. We'll get into today's word. Lars says, Thoughts and prayers to those missing today and to those in pain and suffering. Yes, let's continue to keep everyone uh, in our thoughts and prayers. 
Yes, especially those that are in pain and suffering. Yes, indeed. Going through some real hard stuff. Love you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen, Lars. Thank you for that, bro. Jack says, got to walk the dogs. Hopefully, I'll be back. Love to you all. Love you too, bro. Brother Jack, hope you enjoy your walk with the dogs. Lars says, Andale. Arriba. LOL, Bobby. <laughs> Sarah says, take care, Jack. Jack says, pray for one another. Pray for Israel and pray for the beautiful Bell family. And let's pray for Jack as well. Thank you, Jack. Appreciate that as always. Bobby Bell says, oh, thanks, babe. Love them. All right. All right. All right. Prayers for William Blair. Amen. David Ray. Amen. Rick says, walk the dog or dog walk you, Jack. David Ray says, hey, Brian, I recently bought a small sign that says hustle. All right. Sarah says, Hans and Franz, Adonai Nissi. David Ray says, uh-oh, now we're reading Cat 1830. <laughs> That's right. Good word, Cat. All right. Wasim has joined the show. Good morning, Wasim. So good to see you, bro. So good to see you and have you with us this morning. Hope you're doing well. Hope you've had a good Wednesday there in Pakistan. Keep up the great work. Keep up the great work, taking care of the children and Food, clothing, and, and the word of life. Yes. Keep it up, Wasim. Sarah says, amen. Agape. I've been hearing that word since last night. Let's go. Laura says, Wasim. Hiya, bruh. Laura says, may God bless you more and more, our brothers and sisters. Thank you, Wasim. We appreciate your prayers, Wasim, and we're praying for you too, uh, for God to provide your needs over there as you take care and provide for the children and all that they, uh, all that everything that you're facing with the children. There's Bobby's mom, a.k.a. Carol King, says, good morning, everyone, with some love and some coffee and some sunshine. Good morning, Nana. So good to see you and have you with us this morning. Happy new day of life. You're just in time for some word. All right, let me scroll down. We're pretty much caught up. I'll stop right there. We'll take a break from the live chat. We'll get into today's word. Hey, we're here to start our day in the best way possible with some uh, with some good community. Gonna hear go through going through life together. And uh, and some wisdom, truth, and life. We're seeking wisdom, truth, and life. Wisdom says in Proverbs eight thirty five, whoever finds me finds life. Matthew seven fourteen says, small is the gate and narrow the path that leads to life, and only a few find it. How sad is that? We're here to help you find it any way we can. Let us know any way we can help. And uh, what else we got? What else we got? We got uh, Isaiah fifty five three. God says, come to me with your ears wide open. Listen, and you will find life. Hey, we're here to listen. I'm here to listen to the word. Let's go. And as Melanie said earlier, Proverbs 21, 21, whoever pursues righteousness and love, whoever pursues righteousness and love finds life. Man, that's what it's all about. We're here to find life. Let's go. It also says prosperity and honor. I'll take that too. Let's go. Praise God. All right, let's say a prayer. Join me in prayer if you would, and we'll get into today's word. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, God, thank you so much for this new day of life. God, thank you for this family. God, thank you for this opportunity and privilege that we have to come together right here, right now, no matter where we are in the world, no matter what time zone we're in, no matter what's going on, we can take a break and be here and seek you and hear from you through your living word, God. Thank you for this opportunity and privilege. God, thank you that we have access to your living word. Thank you, God, that we have access to you through Jesus and the Holy Spirit. God, thank you that you sent Jesus to come, give us life, life to the full, life today and life everlasting. God, I pray, help us to find our life in you above all things, Lord. Help us to shine your light, God. Help us to share your wisdom, truth, and life with everyone around us. God, thank you that you're always with us and that you're bigger than anything we face, that we don't have to worry or stress or be anxious that we can just fully rest and trust in you. That we can exchange our, our worries and our fears and our anxieties for your peace and your joy and the fullness of your spirit. God, thank you. God, I pray for everyone here, for everyone who's hearing my voice. God, but specifically this morning, God, I pray for William Blair as we know he's in pain. God, please be with William Blair. Got some others, Jerry D., my mom and Mac. Got Christine. Christine's having her appointment today. We pray for Christine that everything will go well with her doctor's visit. Got everyone else here, uh, Janice, Lawanda, Karen, uh, Laura Kay. God, you, you, you know, God. God, we praise you that you know our needs before we even speak them. And I praise you, God, that it doesn't rely on me. God, I pray for everyone here. We all need you in some way. You are life. God, help us to fill the fullness of your spirit. Help us to live out your truth. Help us, God, to not just hear your word, but to live it out. 
God, I pray that we would honor you with our life. I pray that we would live life well. God, help us to we seek you above all things. We thank you that you're always with us. God, we, we pray for cleansing, for healing. We pray for uh, forgiveness, God. Help us. We pray for forgiveness, God, as we forgive others. And God, we just pray, Lord, that you would guide us in everything that we do. Help us to live a life that is pleasing to you, that brings you glory, that shines your light, I pray. God, I pray that we would hear from you this morning through your living word, that you would speak to us and we could know you more, that we could learn more about you and your truth. Lord, thank you for this privilege to hear from you, to spend time with you, to be in this day of life with you. God, we love you, we praise you, we thank you. Pray all things in your name, in Jesus' name, amen. All right. We are in, uh, hey, we're in, hey, we're starting 1 John today. I almost forgot. I thought we were in 2 Peter for a second, but we're actually starting the book of 1 John. We're getting near the end, 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John. And then Jude and Revelation coming to the end. Hey, I'm going to read a little bit of uh, intro to 1 John from my Life Application Study Bible. It says, 1 John, the purpose of this book is to reassure Christians in their faith and to counter false teachings, like Melanie's scripture was talking about this morning, to counter false teachings. It was written by the Apostle John. This letter was untitled and was written to no particular church. It was sent as a pastoral letter to several Gentile congregations. It was also written to all believers everywhere, probably around AD 85 and 90 from Ephesus. It says the setting, John was an older man and perhaps the only surviving apostle at this time. He had not yet been banished to the island of Patmos, where he would live in exile. As an eyewitness of Christ, he wrote authoritatively to give this new generation of believers assurance and confidence in God and in their faith. The key verse says, I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God so that you may know that you have eternal life. Chapter 5, verse 13. It says, special features. John is the apostle of love. And love is mentioned throughout this letter. There are a number of similarities between this letter and John's gospel. In vocabulary, in vocabulary, style, and main ideas, John uses brief statements and simple words, and he features sharp contrasts, light and darkness, truth and error, God and Satan, life and death, love and hate. It says he starts out the book talking about how God is light, and then next he talks about God as, as love, and then the last section he talks about God as life. God as life. All right, let's get into the book of First John. Today's First John reading is pretty short. Let me know if you have any thoughts, insights, comments, anything you want to share from today's reading. First uh, John chapter 1, verses 1 through 10 says, We proclaim to you the one who existed from the beginning. He's talking about Jesus, just like in the book of John. In the, in the beginning, the book of John starts out, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He, w- he was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life. And that life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not understood it. The Word became flesh. The Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. Jesus was with God in the beginning. Jesus is the Word. The Word is life. Jesus, the Word became flesh. Jesus has always been. He's First John starts out, We proclaim to you the one who existed from the beginning, whom we have heard and seen. We saw him with our own eyes and touched him with our own hands. He is the word, capital W, he is the word of life. This one who is life itself was revealed to us and we have seen him. And now we testify and proclaim to you that he is the one who is eternal life. He was with the Father, and when he, and then he was revealed to us. 
We proclaim to you that we ourselves have actually seen and heard, so that you may have fellowship with us. And our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. We are writing these things so that you may fully share our joy. John says, we are writing these things so that you may fully share our joy. This is the message we heard from Jesus and now declare to you, God is light and there is no darkness in him at all. So we are lying if we say we have fellowship with God, but go on living in spiritual darkness. We are not practicing the truth. But if we are living in the light as God is in the light, then we have fellowship with each other, and the blood of Jesus, his Son, cleanses us from all sin. If we claim we have no sin, we are only fooling ourselves and not living in the truth. But if we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness. If we claim we have not sinned, we are calling God a liar and showing that his word has no place in our hearts. All right, that is today's New Testament reading, 1 John chapter 1, verses 1 through 10. Let me know if you have any thoughts on that. He is the word of life. Jesus is the word of life. He who is life itself, he is the one who is eternal life. We are writing these things so that you may fully share our joy, John says. God is light. There is no darkness in him. All right. We just read it all. Psalm 119 verses 153 through 176 says, Look upon my suffering and rescue me, for I have not forgotten your instructions, Lord. Argue my case, take my side, protect my life as you promised. The wicked are far from rescue, for they do not bother with your decrees. Lord, how great is your mercy. Let me be revived. Let me be revived by following your regulations. Many persecute and trouble me, yet I have not swerved from your laws. Seeing these traitors makes me sick at heart because they care nothing for your word. See how I love your commandments, Lord. Give back my life because of your unfailing love. The very essence of your words is truth. All your just regulations will stand forever. Powerful people harass me without cause, but my heart trembles only at your word. I rejoice in your word, like one who discovers a great treasure. I hate and abhor all falsehood, but I love your instructions. I will praise you seven times a day, because all of your regulations are just. Those who love your instructions have great peace. Those who love your instructions have great peace. And do not stumble. I long for your rescue, Lord, so I have obeyed your commands. I have obeyed your laws, for I love them very much. Yes, I obey your commandments and laws, because you know everything I do. O oh Lord, listen to my cry. Give me the discerning mind you promised. Listen to my prayer. Rescue me as you promised. Let praise flow from my lips, for you have taught me your decrees. Let my tongue sing about your word for all your commands are right. Give me a helping hand, for I have chosen to follow your commandments. O Lord, I have longed for your rescue, and your instructions are my delight. Let me live so I can praise you. And may your regulations help me. I have wandered away like a lost sheep. Come and find me, for I have not forgotten your commands. All right, that is today's psalm. That was chapter 119, verses 153 through 176. Today's Proverbs, chapter 28, verses 23 and 24. In the end, people appreciate honest criticism far more than flattery. In the end, people appreciate honest criticism far more than flattery. Anyone who steals from his father and mother and says, what's wrong with that, is no better than a murderer. Anyone who steals from his father and mother and says, what's wrong with that, is no better than a murderer. Proverbs 28 verses 23 and 24. All right, the word of the Lord, the source of wisdom, truth, and life, the light to our path through this dark and challenging world. 
Uh, All glory to God, the living word, the living word. May we not just hear it, but do what it says. Amen. Let's go. All right. Let me know if you have any thoughts, comments, insight, anything you want to share. Got 15 minutes left. Wow. Still have a lot of time left in today's show. A lot of reading, a lot of word, and uh, lots of time left. We may finish early today. We'll see. We'll see. Let's get back to the live chat. Let me know if you have any thoughts, insight, comments, anything you want to share or talk about. Got 15 minutes left in this morning show for Wednesday, April 10th, 2024. Let's go. Day number 101 of the new year. Uh, Laura says, agape love, family and friends love. Sarah says, Wasim, what's up? What's up, Wasim, says Sarah. Cat, everyone's stealing your phrase. I haven't heard you use it in a while, Cat. Lars says, Sister King, so good to see you. Wasim says, hi, Sarah, Lars, David, Carol, Cat, William, Fragile Lives, and others. Sarah says, is that the song writer, Carol King? Well, could be. Could be. It's, it's Bobby's mom. Wasim says, thank you so much, my dear brother Brian. You're so welcome, bro. Thank you for all your prayers, too, Wasim. Lars says, Bobby's mom, Sister King. Wasim says, Bobby Bell, prayers and love. Sarah says, oh, okay, good morning, Sister King. Wasim says, Brother Jack, good morning. Regina says, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Regina. So good to see you and have you with us this morning. Hope you're doing well. Sarah says, BRB ASAP. Let's go. Lars says, amen, Brian. He knows our needs. Amen. He knows our needs before we even speak them. Amen. Praise God. Jerry D says, good morning. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, I hit the snooze on alarm dog. Hey, Jerry D, no worry, bro. So good to see you and have you with us this morning, Jerry. Hope you're doing well. Rick says, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Lars says, LOL, Jerry. Regina says, good morning, Wasim. Full of hosts says, Brian, wow, you pronounce Giahoich better than me now. <laughs> ah, full of hope. I don't know about that. But thank you, Giahoich. I'll show you. Hey, look, full of hope. I'll show you the, the video I used. Uh, let's see here. Let me go here. This is the video I found yesterday, and I thought it was really good. This girl here, I think she does a really good job. This is uh, this is where I learned the pronunciation. Jirich. Hi, this is Siobhan from Bite Size Irish Gaelic. Here is how to say hello and its reply in Irish Gaelic. Gia Rich. Gia Rich. Gia Rich. It means, God be with you, or literally, God to you. Now I gotta learn the reply. The reply is, Gia Smurrich. Gia is Smurrich. Which literally means, God and Mary to you. God and Mary to you. All right, we'll learn that one next. Gia the is Smurrich. The phrase which... isn't another way to say hello. All right, all right. That's where I got my. That's where I got my audible. That's where I got my audible training. Uh, full of hope. <laughs> so I saw that. I found that yesterday, and I uh, was I was practicing that, and then I, I looked at it again this morning before going on the live stream. So uh, Gia Witch. All right, all right. Full of hope. Thank you for teaching us Irish. Let's go. Laura says so good to see you, McGrath. Regina says Jerry, you were the Oregon Powerball winner. What? Let's go, Jerry. Full of Hope says, good morning, Jerry. Regina says, hello, Lars. Lars says, Brian has been teaching us Irish, Swedish, and Spanish. Much appreciated. Man, I wish. <laughs> uh, I don't, I mean, like, uh, yeah, okay, that's a good one. <laughs> Jerry says, McGrath, if I was, I'd be in Laredo, Mexico right now. <laughs> Full of Hope says, Bjork, Bjork, Bork. <laughs> the Swedish. Sarah says, thank you for the prayers today, B-Dog. You're more than welcome, Sarah. Thank you for being here and being a part of the Finding Life family. We so greatly appreciate you being here and being with us. And we appreciate your prayers, too. Uh, Regina's given some some good laughter and thumbs up and clapping. Laura says, exactly full of hope. Jerry says, finally, coffee is brewing. Praise God for that. Regina says, Jerry, is it true about governor trying to stop all farming? Jerry says, McGrath, the law has been passed. They are trying to enforce it. Laura says, Geohwich, Bork, Bork. Andale, andale. I feel like I'm at the Tower of Babel. <laughs> ah, oh, man, you're making me realize how dry my throat is. I'm feeling it and the laughter. <clears throat> Regina says, oh, no, why? Jerry says, McGrath, but with everything government these days, I'm ignoring them. Sarah says, hey, guys, got to go. CT scan, shalom and love. Hey, Sarah, shalom and love to you. Thank you for being here with us this morning. We so greatly appreciate it. Hope you have a great day, and we look forward to seeing you back soon. Lord willing. Vaya con Dios, and uh, best wishes on your CT. Uh, Laura says, praying, Sarah. Jerry says, that's they say it's to protect the government. 
Regina says, have a blessed day, Sarah. Laura says, Jerry, it's so difficult to understand those people, except they want us to starve. Jerry says, Laura, that's why I choose to ignore them. I kind of do that too, Jerry. Cass says, Regina, uh, waving and with a rose. Deborah says, love this Irish lesson. Let's go. Let's go. There it is. How to say hello in Irish from Bite Size Irish. Cat says, Papa the corn for William. Bork, bork, bork. <laughs> Regina says, Good morning, cat. All right. Hey, we're caught up in the live chat at 6 50. We can close out early. You guys want to close out early today? Uh, let me know if you have anything else you want to talk about or share in this morning's show. Otherwise, we'll close out and we'll plan to do it again tomorrow. All right. All right. All right. I'll start winding down and I'll check the live chat. Hey, thank you guys for being here today. Much love to you all. So greatly appreciate you on this journey of finding life, this never ending journey of finding life each day. Hey, if you're with us on the live stream, you could you could say hello if you haven't already. And if you're catching this on YouTube or the podcast, thank you also for being a part of the Finding Life family. We so greatly appreciate you as well. And if we can ever help you in any way on the journey of finding life, please let us know. We are here to serve. We are here to serve. Amen. Hey, Milka has joined in. Hey, Milka, so good to see you. Milka says, Shalom. Good morning. Shalom and good morning to you, Milka. So good to see you and have you with us this morning. Hope you're doing well. And, uh, and yeah, we'll plan to do this again tomorrow. We plan to do this again tomorrow, Lord willing, 6 a.m. Pacific. Come join us. We'd love to have you on the live stream. You can interact with us, ask questions, leave comments, and just try to have a good time, right? Start our day in the best way possible. Start our day in a good way. Amen. Seeking what matters most. What matters most. All right. David Ray's back. David Ray, I'm getting ready to close out, bro. We're all caught up in the live chat, and uh, everybody's everybody's quiet. And uh, let's, let's continue. As Jack says, let's continue to keep each other in thought and prayer. And a lot of people going through some difficult things. So let's continue to pray for one another. Let's continue to meet together and encourage one another, lift each other up, spur one another on, and uh, and just you know keep each other in thought and prayer. All right. Milka says, Lars, shalom, and hi. Lars says, hi, sis, Milka. Lars says, uh-oh. Uh-oh, he caught up. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. David Ray says, prayers for Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama today. Bad storms rolling through. All right, let's keep that in thought and prayer. Lars says, enjoy your day, family. Love you all. See you tomorrow morning, God willing. Amen, Lars. Lars, hope you have a great day, bro, and a great rest of your day. Thanks for being here and all that you do. Appreciate your love and support. Cat says, thanks, Brian, for keeping me company while I make myself useful here. Hey, Cat, good job serving, girl. Thank you for the word this morning. We so greatly appreciate it. Please tell Gabriel we say hello, and uh, let's keep moving forward. Jerry says, I'm quiet because Lori is awake and has cast iron in hand. All right, Jerry D., we understand, bro. We understand. David Ray says, Shalom, Milka. Cass says, Hi, Milka. Milka says, David Ray, hello, and we will pray. All right. Hope you guys have a great day. We'll plan to see you again tomorrow, Lord willing. Until then, keep aiming up. Keep finding life. Eyes on Christ. You can walk on water. Not your problems. You fall down. Eyes on Christ. Hope you have a great day. We'll plan to see you again tomorrow. Until then, keep aiming up. Keep finding life. Bye, con Dios. Hey, friend. Thanks for watching my video or listening to my podcast. Again, I'm so glad you're here. If you would like more information about Finding Life, please be sure to subscribe. Don't forget about my free PDF download, The Top 3 Keys to Finding Life, which also includes the one decision that completely changed everything for me and can for you too. I'll have a link to it below. If you would like to help me help others find life, please be sure to give me a like, leave me a comment, a review, share with your family and friends. Any activity I get helps me help others find life. Lastly, don't forget to let me know how I can help you. What challenges are you facing? What are you struggling with? Let me know how I can help you specifically. Leave me a comment, send me an email, or set up a call with me. Until next time, let me leave you with this. There is a common thread that connects us all, and there is more to life than meets the eye. If you have ever felt like there has to be something more to life, you're on the right track. Keep moving forward. Yeah.